What is up guys, we are back with some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and we're about to head out to the Great Canyon in order to meet up with Zatu in order to figure out uh, what's going on with us as a human turned Pokemon. This is the Great Canyon. The peak is called the Hill of the Ancients. According to Alakazam, the Hill of the Ancients is on 13th floor. Zatu should be there. Let's do our best. All right, Renag. Still kind of tired of you calling the shots. So it was, I find it funny that, uh, I really wanted the, the Manette trick on, on the team. And then I was like, oh yeah, like, cool. We got like a strong electric type on the team. Yada, yada, yada. I don't have to level up, uh, I don't have to level up Magnemite anymore. And then when I checked out the moveset, it knew no electric moves. <laughs> and I was kind of thrown off because I was kind of like, bro, like how how you out here level 26 with no electric moves? He knew bite, quick attack, um, odor sleuth, and uh, fire fang. Yeah, I think it was fire fang. Okay, level up. So we have the, the Joy Ribbon on him. Okay, Renee, going ham with uh, all those water pulses. Dang, who did I hit? Oh, I hit a dunce bars all the way back there. <laughs> no lie, my, my guy's pretty cool with that. I literally threw my, <laughs> threw my stick like across the room and <laughs> couldn't even see who I was throwing it at. like the time for Manectric to use its fire move, but I guess not. Oh, by the way, I also got a Growlithe and it didn't have the, uh, sadly it didn't have the ability I wanted to get on it, which was like from the first Growlithe I saw that made it so like moves that wouldn't affect the, the enemy would. So I'm still working on getting like that ability on a, on a Growlithe just for the simple fact that that'll be clutch so I can start using ground moves on flying Pokemon. I'd say we're progressing through pretty, pretty well. Oh, look at that. Renee leveled up. Skull Bash. That's a two turn move, right? Uh, don't they normally like let you see what like the... Uh, do we? No, we're, we're gonna, we're not gonna use Skull Bash just cause I like Protect on, on Renee. It came in pretty clutch. Uh, Oh, yep, yeah, there's a fire fight. It came in pretty clutch in one of the... Oh, yeah, when I was going through the dungeons, I was battling um, the powerful Pokemon, and it was a Dragonite. I actually encountered three of them in the same dungeon, the powerful Pokemon, and they gave 280 EXP each. And funny enough, I wish I had it, like, on the recording, but there was a shiny Dragonite that I fought. I took a picture of it. I'm most likely going to post it on Twitter. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, uh, please do. The link is in the description below. Epic Blaze Gaming, or Epic Blaze, actually. And it's also on my banner on my YouTube channel. If you haven't noticed. But there you'll be able to 
see my updates for like when I'm traveling, when I won't be able to record and all that stuff. I might do polls on there as well for if I'm going to, or not if, for what games to play or what play style you guys want to see for certain games. Digimon Survive is supposed to come out this year and I'm st I still don't know what day. They haven't given us a release date yet. But I know I'm definitely doing that for my channel. <laughs> There's no questions about that. Uh-oh. out here throwing our boomerang like crazy. I like that uh, I got leap on on Renee. That's actually like pretty clutch to have so we can still go through and attack uh, whoever we need like as a as a team. I like might as well cuz I mean, I have a lot of the max ethers. Oh, you want to join us, huh? Yeah, you can join us. The more the merrier, I guess. Or maybe it's just more so I want money. <laughs> I'm thinking if anything like end game if I want to use earthquake I'm gonna need two Pokemon on my team one that either has to be like ability levitate or a flying Pokemon which I'm most likely gonna see about getting a Dragonite on the team as well as maybe I'll have to look it up I, I don't think I can get a Charizard again or not I can't remember if we can recruit Charmanders later on in the game or not. But if so, I can do Marowak, Charizard, and Dragonite. That would be a pretty nice team to have so I can use Earthquake without having to worry about damaging them. I like how it just shows like them just sprinting through like crazy to explore the whole dungeon. Wait, did we make it to 413? Wow, okay. Yes, we finally made it to the top, Blades. We sure did. This is the Hill of the Ancients. Look, over there. Blades, is that Zatu over there? I think so. Excuse me, are you maybe Zatu? Hello? Maybe he doesn't hear me. Hello? Hello? It's useless, he's not responding at all. Maybe he's sleeping while on his feet? What should we do? I'll, yeah, tickle. Okay, it's worth a try. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. It's no good, Blades. He's not responding. <laughs> Snort. <laughs> Giggle. <laughs> He's finally laughing now, is he? Just dense. 
Oh, okay. Witness it. The sinking of the sun. Indeed. I am Zatu. You discerned my true identity. You are not an ordinary sort. Guess your identity, that's a bit much. No, I can tell this. You there. You are no ordinary Pokemon. You are human, yes? Huh? How can you tell that? All day, I stare at the sun unblinking. It gives me sight for all things. The past and the future, too. If you know, please tell us, Zatu. Next to me is my friend, Blades. My friend woke up one morning as a Pokemon, and without any memories as a human. Zatu, you can tell, can't you? Please tell us. The calamities of nature, there have been many in recent times. They occur because the world's balance is upset, and you're becoming a Pokemon? They are tied together inseparably so. Wait, Blades becoming a Pokemon and the natural disasters, they're related? What do you mean? What does Blades have to do with the natural disaster we've been seeing? What is it? Why did you clam up? Please, tell us. Please. There are bigger concerns, I am afraid. The world's balance, it must be restored, or the unthinkable shall befall our world. Huh? You're serious? The world? The unthinkable is coming? Yeah, bro, looks like death and destruction all day, every day. <laughs> every day I see it, the same future, every day. I dread it. Z Zatu, I fear it. The world's destruction. The world's destruction? <laughs> Isn't that a surprise? That Blades was human. <laughs> That's going to be useful. This should be interesting. We got Stalker, Gengar over there. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that was the only thing we got, right? <laughs> Mm, I already have a Taurus, I think. So I think I just want the money. Oh, that's all I got? Man, that kind of that kind of sucks. Alrighty. Actually, I want to ask you something. What do you think about what Zatsu said yesterday? Does it bother you? Huh? It doesn't concern you. Don't joke around. It's not funny. The world might be destroyed. And how you became a Pokemon? That's all supposed to be related. Oh, I understand now. How stupid of me. Of course you'd be wor more worried than I am. You're involved in all of this. It's only natural you'd be worried. Sorry, that was inconsiderate of me. Zatu said that the world will be ruined if nothing is done. I want to do something, but there's something I don't understand. So, uh, the world's balance. What is it? Do you know what the world's balance is? <laughs> of course. Oh, really? You know? Please tell me, what is the world's balance? <laughs> it's in space, silly. <laughs> in space? <laughs> like where the stars and the moon are? That's space? Hmm. I'm getting even more confused. Okay, so where exactly in space is the world's balance? If you go, you'll see. Huh? You go out to space? And how do we go out to space? With guts. <laughs> what are you saying, guts? If that's all it took, none of this would be necessary. So you don't know either, Blades. I can't imagine what the world's balance is about. To be honest, I don't know what we should do. Raise our rank, that's what we should do. Well, I guess we'll have to keep doing what we can, one thing at a time. And we had no we had no Pelipper drop us off mail. Huh? What are they chatting about? Yeah, I'm kinda shocked. I always thought it was only a legend. But could it be true? I'm having a hard time believing it. Hi, what's happening? Well, you know the Ninetales legend, that old story. 
the, the Nine Tails legend? What's that? What? You don't know? You know, it's that old fairy tale. How you'll get cursed if you ever grab one of Nine Tails' tails? All this time, everyone thought it was just a legend, but lately it's been rumored that maybe it really happened. Well, it is still a mere rumor. I wouldn't put too much stock in that story if I were you. Personally, I don't believe in rumors of that sort. If you want to know more about the Nine Tails legend, you should go see a Pokemon named Wishcash. He knows the story well. Wishcash is, uh, you know, in his pond. <laughs> you should visit him if you want to know more. Alrighty, let's talk to... We well, actually, let me check to see if I can get Shadow Claw. <laughs> I've really been wanting to put Shadow Claw on uh, Cubone. Oh, doesn't look like it, but we could get an Aerial Ace if we wanted to. Because I can always learn Earthquake again, especially because that's like one of like the natural level up moves for, uh, for Cubone. Ho ho ho, you wish to hear me tell old folklore? What was that? You wish to hear the Ninetales legend? Ho ho ho, fine then. Let me recount the tale. There once lived a Pokemon by the name of Ninetales. Now Ninetales had many tails, all of them imbued with psychic power. It was said that anyone so foolish as to touch a tail would be cursed for a thousand years. But there was someone so foolish as to grab a tail. And it was a human. A human? Yes, a human. As one might expect, the human that grabbed the tail was subjected to a thousand year curse. However, just when the curse was cast, a Pokemon named Gardevoir shielded the human and sacrificed herself to absorb the curse. Why? Why would that Pokemon Gardevoir take the human's place? To Gardevoir, that human was her partner. There exists strong bonds between humans and Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> but humans, aren't there good humans and bad ones too? Correct. Taking pity on Gardevoir, Ninetales asked the human this. Do you wish to save Gardevoir? It asked. But the human had already abandoned Gardevoir and fled. Ninetales became disillusioned with the human, and it made this prediction. That human will one day be reborn as a Pokemon. What? A human will turn into a Pokemon, and when that Pokemon, or when that human becomes a Pokemon, the world's balance will be upset. And that is how the legend ends. Well, did you find it interesting? Aha. Uh -huh. You found it so interesting you're at loss for words. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> There's no need to wear such a serious expression. Certainly some rumors say that the legend may actually be true, but it is only ancient folklore, nothing more. If you feel the urge to hear my tale again, come see me. Ho, ho, ho. Alrighty. I just want my evolution, which is not gonna happen till end game, sadly. Um let's see what what is there to like pick up. I don't wanna go to the tiny woods. Oh man, I maxed out? Ooh. But I want that I want the E the E uh quest. It's like, what, what do I, I don't know, because all these, well, you don't give that good, that well of a reward. Uh, we're going to put you, oh no, let me turn down instead. Because I need to rank up faster. Um, I've actually been doing a pretty, a pretty nice job with completing these uh, jobs actually uh, as you can see uh, let me see where will it show it uh, you guys don't show my team rank I feel like they should be able to show it somewhere oh I'm stupid it's right there we're at silver rank and we need 1200 more points in order to become gold rank. And I think they're, after gold, I think there's probably like four to six more ranks to achieve. 
Um, I think Grandmaster or something is like the highest. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I don't think there's going to be another cutscene. Let me let me run back just to be sure. Oh, okay, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Say blades. Want to call it a day now? I can't seem to get motivated today. I'm sorry for wanting to go home before we're done, but I just can't seem to get motivated. I guess because I heard that story. <laughs> I'll go home and try to get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, Renee. Get out your feelings. Blades? Sorry. I started doubting you a little. I'm not going to worry anymore. I believe in you, Blades. Because you're a friend like no other. You're an invaluable friend. Okay, let's try our best to do well tomorrow. Oh, thanks for that. I appreciate the compliment of my friendship. Again? It's that dream again. I always see the silhouette. Who could it be? Oh, it's saying something, but I can't quite make it out. It's clearer than it was before, but I'll try talking to it. Hello. Please tell me. You... Who are you? I am... I am Gardevoir. G Gardevoir? <laughs> yes, yes. I'm so glad, finally. I finally got to meet you. Huh? Finally met me? You knew me from before? What about me? I am your... Oh, wait. Just a little longer. What are you? You're my what? What are you? <laughs> I want to know more. No, it's fading. Uh... <laughs> This brings back good memories of how pretty good the story was. <laughs> what a strange dream. It's the dream I always had, but it was clearer than it was before. I think I finally learned who that Pokemon was. That's it, Gardevoir. It was Gardevoir. Yesterday, Wishcast said, Yes, a human. As one might expect, the human that grabbed the tail was subjected to the Thousand Year Curse. However, just when the curse was cast, a Pokemon named Gardevoir shielded the human and sacrificed herself to absorb the curse. Why? Why would a Pokemon Gardevoir take the human's place? To Gardevoir, that human was her partner. There exist strong bonds between humans and Pokemon. Maybe... Maybe I... Maybe I was the human who was Gardevoir's partner. Maybe I was the one that abandoned Gardevoir when she was cursed. Maybe that's why I turned into a Pokemon. Oh, you look pale. Is something the matter? Well, anyway, as always, let's try to do our best. Oh, yeah. When I was on the way here, I think there was a commotion at the Pokemon Square. I wonder if something happened. Yeah, where is everybody? Looks awfully, awfully odd. Huh? The town's atmosphere feels different somehow. Maybe something's happened. Let's check it out. Look, why is everyone gathered together? Hi, what's going on? Let me tell you, I was amazed. It really was true. What was true? The Ninetales legend. I never believed the rumors, so you can bet I was shocked to learn the truth. Blades, Renee. Oh, hi, Caterpie. Even you came out, Caterpie? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Quiet. That guy there is telling us. Keep it down. Huh? Who's talking? It's... Gengar? G Gengar? So I went up to the Hill of the Ancients, right? And that's where I saw it. I was shocking stuff. Or it was shocking stuff, I tell ya. <laughs> shocking stuff? This certain Pokemon was getting advice from Zantu. That Pokemon, it looks like an ordinary Pokemon. But get this, it was originally a human. 
What? It really existed? A human that turned into a Pokemon? There's more. Zatu told the human that how the human became a Pokemon has a lot to do with how the world's balance is upset. Wait a second. That's exactly like the Ninetales legend. <laughs> Don't be too shocked yet. There's more. You all know how there's been many natural disasters, correct? According to Zatu, those disasters are caused by the world's balance being upset. And if the world's balance isn't restored soon, the unthinkable will happen to the world. That's what Zatu said. <laughs> what? The world? The unthinkable's going to happen? What are we to do? That Gengar, he's deliberately working everyone up. Now, now, people. <laughs> there's no need to panic. Well, I think there's a way we can do something about this. <laughs> What can we do? Oh, it's quite simple, actually. If the world's balance is upset by a human becoming a Pokemon, then if that human is gone, everything should return to normal, correct? Th that's true. When you put it that way, maybe you're right. <laughs> and that human is the rotten coward that abandoned Gardevoir, correct? I don't think that human can complain about anything if we get rid of it. Isn't that right, Blades? What? It, it can't be. You were that human? Is, is that true? Well, wait. This is like, there's a good explanation for We're not asking you, we're asking Blades. Hey Blades, so what is it? Are you really the human that was in the legend? Blades? Blades? <laughs> Looks like you have nothing to say in your defense, Blades. That's how it is, fellow Pokemon. Let's get rid of Blades and regain peace. <laughs> what? Everyone, what's gotten into you? What are you? What are you going to do? Run! Oof! Serves them right. <laughs> uh oh! Looks like we uh, can't do stuff for a while. What a surprise! I didn't think things, things were going to get so weird all of a sudden. I thought we were about to be in some real trouble. But listen, Blades. Why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you argue that it's not you? You should have said you're not the human that appears in, in the Legend of Ninetales. Huh. Listen, Renee. I'm tired of this. You're, you're tired? What are you saying? Huh? You don't think you deserve to be on our rescue team? What's wrong? What makes you say that? That doesn't sound like you at all. Tell me, what's the matter? You you had a dream, and Gardevoir appeared in it? And that made you think that maybe you were the human after all. So that's what it is. That's what happened. Listen, Blades, you didn't remember what you were like as a human being, did you? So you don't know what really happened. I believe in you, Blades. You know that, right? So... Oh! After that scene in the Pokemon Square, we held a town meeting on what we must do to save the world, and we arrived at a consensus. We must get rid of you. You're, you're kidding. I was incredulous, too. I had hoped it would not come to this, but it is unfortunate. We will defeat you with all our might. We're fighting here? We will give you tonight. Huh? Pack your supplies and get out of here. Come tomorrow, rescue teams of all sorts will take up the chase and attack you without hesitation, and not just you. Anyone that goes with Blaze will be considered an enemy. The trackers will attack without mercy. That goes for us, too. We will join the hunt to be rid of you. Against all odds, you must run. 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 And survive. You must run till you uncover the truth. Alakazam... There will be no mercy the next time we meet. Farewell. Yeesh. Did you see that? Alakazam's team has faith in you too. I said this before, didn't I? I'm not going to worry anymore. Whatever happens, I have faith in you, Blades. Even if other rescue teams stalk us, I won't be scared. So what are we supposed to do if you don't have faith in yourself, Blades? Blades? Caterpie? I made a promise, remember? 
that we could make a rescue team base here, that I would join your rescue team when I grew up. Don't give up. You're a hero to me. I believe in you too. So what do you say? <laughs> okay, I won't give up. Exactly, that's the spirit. That's more like it. That's what we expect from our blades. We'll have to leave for the time being, but we're going to come back for sure, and we'll bring the truth back with us. Dang, I feel like I should have leveled up a little bit more. <laughs> Morning, Blades. It's early, but of course you'd be up by now. Are you ready to leave? Yep, I guess we're ready to go. From now on, we're fugitives. I'm sure that this will be a dangerous journey. I don't want to get our team members involved in this. Let's not tell them. We should go by ourselves. We have to run from the rescue team stalking us. We have to keep running because we can't afford to be caught. Yeah, we have to escape. Like Alakazam said that time. Against all odds, you must run. Run. Run and survive. You must run until you uncover the truth. Yeah, who am I? Until I discover the truth, I have to run and survive. Even if it means going to the edge of this world. Okay, let's get going. Blades? Caterpie and Metapod, too. Oh, and even Jumpluff. Wow, I'm glad we made it. We wanted to see you all. M me too. The Diglett. <laughs> yeah, good morning. It's me, Diglett. I wanted to send you off, too. Oh, everyone. Oh, what's Pelipper dropping off to us? It's a letter, Blades. Can you read it? Take care. It's farewell, but only for now. Until the day I can deliver mail to you again. I'll always be waiting. The wandering postal carrier, Pelipper. Oh, that was nice of Pelipper. <laughs> Even Pelipper? <laughs> Everyone, thank you. The other Pokemon will be waking up soon. You have to go. Hurry. Yup. Blade, let's go. Hit the road. As we, like, casually walk. <laughs> I didn't even check my inventory. <laughs> we'll be waiting for both of you to return. Yep. Thank you. We'll be back. That's for certain. Until then, take care. Thus began Blade's cruel and arduous journey as a fugitive. Over forbidding mountains. Wow, aren't these fissures amazing? Okay, Renee. <laughs> Across fields of fire. The environment is out of control here too. The forest fire is still raging. But throughout it all, Blade's team kept their heads held high. Without a complaint, they marched on. Ooh, we sure traveled a long way. But while we're moving, I couldn't help thinking. All sorts of places have been affected by the natural disasters. I'm sure many Pokemon are suffering because of the calamities. I wish we could get back to doing our rescue work. Sorry, I shouldn't complain. We have to get away now, period. Huh? I hear voices. I think they went this way. They can't get away, not from all of us. We have to find Blades quickly. Oh no, are they catching up to us? Blades, we'd better go. But the Kangaskhan statue, Lapis Cave. Dang, but okay guys, I'm gonna end this episode off here. In next episode, we're gonna progress through Lapis Cave and see how far we can get. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to leave a like for the video. Helps out the video a lot. Also, subscribe to my channel. Helps out the channel a lot. With that said, stay sharp. Later.